Welcome. We are so thrilled to have you all here today. My name is Eamon Anderson, and I'm the co-director of the Medicaid Innovation Collaborative, a program that aims to connect the Medicaid ecosystem to innovations that advance health equity. We launched MIC because we see a role for private sector tech-enabled solutions to complement all the great work that's happening on the ground to address deeply rooted disparities within Medicaid. We're excited to welcome you to today's showcase of companies that were selected because they have the potential to tackle maternal behavioral health challenges in Hawaii. We're also excited by their potential to scale up because of the growing, ongoing mental health crisis among new and expecting moms today. These companies were selected through a robust RFI process and selection process that was informed by beneficiaries, community organizations, providers, managed care organizations, and state Medicaid agencies, many of whom are on the call today. Thank you all to thank you to all who participated in the selection process to help us reach this huge milestone within the MIC program. I also want to be sure to thank Director Judy Moore Peterson. You've been an amazing champion for this work. Thank you. And I want to thank our funding partners, which enable us to run this program, Molina Cares, Common Spirit, and Hope Lab. We couldn't do this work without you. Thank you. We had, amazing, we had an amazing event on Friday to showcase innovations in adolescent behavioral health. Thanks to all of you who were able to join, and I couldn't be more excited for today's event. I'd like to now hand it off to our, to, to our MC for today, Carissa Godzik, Program Manager for the Medicaid Innovation Collective. Thank you so much, Eamon, and we are so excited to be here with you all today and welcome your participation during this process. Um, we encourage attendees to change their name on Zoom so we know which company, state, or organization you are representing. Uh, simply hover over your image on the Zoom screen, click the ellipses, and click rename, and we would love for everyone to introduce themselves in the chat along with where you are joining from. Also in the chat, we are sharing a welcome packet that provides more details on the organization selected to present and their presenters. This packet also includes follow-up details and ways to further engage following the showcase. After each presentation, we have designated time for question and answer. We welcome attendees to ask questions throughout the event by using the chat function on Zoom. A member of the MIC team will review these questions and field a few of them live. We kindly request that attendees stay muted for the duration of the event. When asking a question in the chat, please direct it at a specific person or organization using the at symbol. So if um, it is not answered live, they can follow up with you in the chat. A unique aspect of today's event is that our presenters are a combination of both local Hawaiian organizations and national behavioral tech health tech companies. Through the selection process, there was an indication of the need to have local expertise in combination with scalable solutions, and you no know applicant on their own met that criteria. Therefore, one of the aims of today's session is to identify where organizational synergies might exist to create a shared solution, building on existing community knowledge and resources and expanding access to services. MIC and MedQuest, along with their managed care partners and our community advocates, see a partnership between a local and a national solution as having a great potential to advance maternal behavioral health equity for Hawaii's Medicaid members. Before we hear from our six solutions selected to present today, I want to give a special shout out to and recognition to our state liaison in Hawaii, John Fuji, along with all the health plan champions and liaisons, community advisory board members, selection committee members, and others from the state health plans and community that make all of this work possible. To begin, we want to start with a few short words from MedQuest Medicaid Director, Dr. Judy Moore Peterson. Dr. Peterson, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate this opportunity. Um, we've been working on this for, for quite some time, it feels like, and talking about it in theory and in concept, but to have this today is just one more step to making, um, making some of these things a reality and helping us move towards our ultimate goal, which is to improve maternal health uh, with a particular focus on uh, Native Hawaiian and, and, and other Pacific Islanders um, in our state. So um, just as a very brief background as to why it is that we came to this particular topic at this particular time and moment in, um, in history in our state. Uh, one thing to note is that the Medicaid program 
which we call MedCost here, ha has been focused on uh, improving primary care and preventive health, as well as a focus on <clears throat> building healthy families and healthy communities for a number of years now. And one of the one of the areas that uh, we have not had an opportunity to pay a lot of attention to is in the area of maternal health. We've been talking also a lot about the integration of behavioral health, and that includes both mental health as well as substance use disorders. In our state, for a long time, it's been recognized that there are many disparities when it comes to uh, access to mental health, access to substance use disorders, in particular for pregnant women and, and women who've uh, just given birth in, in our state. Um, and then it's not just in general, you know, all women, we see, we see disparities in the data and through uh, talking with people, we see a lot of disparities also with the Native Hawaiian and um, other Pacific Islanders. It, coming out of a long history, almost by definition of historical trauma, et cetera, and then how, how is it that we can work on that and how is it that we can address that? So um, this was an opportunity for us to, to focus in and narrow in on this particular topic, even though there's a lots of different ways that we can um, address it. Uh, really looking forward to hearing the, the showcase and the hearing from the presenters today. Thank you very much for involving. Thank you to the um, Medicaid Innovation a Collaborative, as well as the health plans, and then uh, to John and the presenters. So thank you very much, and I'll turn this back over to you. So. Thank you so much, Director Peterson, for your kind words, as well as your vision and leadership throughout this program. Um, it is very true to say that the, this um, day would not be happening without you, and we're so appreciative of your support.